an indicator that's very similar to the stochastic in the sense that it can signal overbought and oversold areas in the market is the RSI or relative strength index. This is an RSI that I have on my graph, I'll make it bigger for you to see. And the chart I have up is the pound against the dollar, but this time it's a weekly chart. Unlike the stochastic that has two lines, the RSI generally has one main line. And another difference is the stochastic would signal overbought over 80 and oversold under 20. The RSI signals overbought over 70 and oversold under 30. I generally prefer the RSI over the traditional stochastic and I find it more reliable than the stochastic. So you'll see that we are oversold at this area here. So let's mark that with a vertical line which is just here and you'll see that price is bearish and at this point turns bullish. So it's used in very much the same way as the stochastic. The RSI also has a central line at 50. And when our RSA line, which is our blue line on this chart, clearly breaks this central horizontal line that can act as a signal to buy and sell. So if we break this central line in a downwards direction that can act as a signal to sell. And if we break this line in an upwards direction it can act as a signal to buy. So if we look at those two signals, so just here and here, and then look at our chart, you can see that price falls heavily on the downside. And on our second signal here to go bullish, price moves strongly on the upside. Another indicator worth looking at in this video is the ADX and I'll bring that up now. So this is the ADX or Average Directional Index and the ADX is a similar indicator to Bollinger Bands in the sense that it can show us the volatility of the markets and generally an ADX is used as a confirmation if price is trending or ranging. Once again we have a scale of numbers on this indicator. When our ADX line is under 20 that can act as a confirmation that volatility is low and price could be ranging. Whereas when our line is higher on the ADX that can act as a confirmation that volatility is high and we have a strong trend. For example, if we look at this area of the pound against the dollar on the four hour chart and the same area on our ADX, you'll see that our ADX line is close to our horizontal 20 line and goes under here to here. This part on our chart is this area here and you can see volatility is low and price is ranging. When our ADX 
comes out of the 20 level, price starts moving on the upside. This ADX line continues in its strength until the end of this push where both price and the ADX fall on the downside. 